Good morning, Ron Stars, alumni and enthusiasts. My name is Michaela Robinson, and today I will be discussing whether the distribution of financial aid at Rollins College is fair in the face of legacy status, affirmative action, and inflation. Due to my experience as a Fox Fund Committee member and the Senator of External and Competitive Scholarships, I may have some insight into this theme. However, I will be interviewing the Public Relations Chair of the Student Government Association, Chloe Bowers, whose role it is to media it's to be the media contact of the organization while formulating a marketing plan. Hello, Chloe, and thank you for being so willing to speak on this podcast. When applying to Rollins College, what aspect was most attractive to you? The amazing opportunities and majors that Rollins has. To what extent do you believe that the annual grants and scholarships are fairly allocated to students in a wake of rising tuition? No, because when tuition increases, scholarships do not increase. So then there is a very big disparity between incomes. And how is it like you personally? Well, coming from like a one-parent household, it can be a struggle to pay for college because of that factor, because I don't have a two-income household. To what extent do you believe that legacy status plays a role in admissions and students receiving financial aid and grants? I think legacy status is a factor, but I think it's the only thing to take into consideration. I mean, looking at Ivy Leagues now, now they're reinforcing policies so they can't rely just solely on legacy status. So I think the time is changing and becoming less important. So to what extent do you believe that affirmative action plays a role in admissions and students receiving financial aid? So affirmative action, I don't really think they take that into consideration. Like I don't think just because you are um, from a sort of underrepresented background that they're going to accept you more. I think it is pretty even when it comes to that. Sorry. To what extent do you believe that the rising tuition provides students with enough resources to quickly acquire a paid internship or job after graduation. No. I mean, because rising tuition affects literally everything. A lot of people can't really go to college anymore because of rising tuition. A lot of people do have to transfer out, out of universities because tuition is increasing by 3.29%.